Now that you've navigated to the course in Canvas, you should see something that looks somewhat similar to what's on my screen here. I've put it into what's called student view, so there's this bright pink or magenta band around the outside. But other than that, it should look somewhat similar depending on who you're taking the class from. Uh, he or she may change the way that this home page looks, um, but for the most part it should be pretty similar. And so before I go any forward, let's talk about the idea that I am recording this video that you may be hearing, but I'm not your actual teacher. Uh, R1280 is a Photoshop course that is taken by all visual art and design students. And so there is a lot of input on this class from many full-time and part-time faculty members here at the college. In addition, this class abides by OER, Open Educational Resources, and it's our goal to make this class as free as possible for students once you pay your tuition and your student fees. And because of that, um, there are a lot of hands in the pot that are helping to create content for the course so that we don't have to have you buy a really expensive textbook or get a subscription to a website that might have some demo videos. And so please take it with a grain of salt if you hear my voice or someone else's voice throughout the semester. Uh, we're going to take turns recording these videos so that you, the student, get as many free re resources as possible. The one thing I would like to note, though, is that you must make sure that you know who your teacher is. This is this is kind of an obvious statement if you're taking the class on campus. Uh, on campus, Obviously, you're going to know who your teacher is. But a lot of times when you take a class online, you kind of forget who your teacher is because you just get so hunkered down and doing the coursework and you're listening to videos, but you're not really putting a name with a face. And so, so I, Jessica, am pictured on the screen right here. I am your teacher if my name, Jessica Curran, is listed for the class. Um, but if someone else's picture is here or someone else's picture is on your course schedule or their name is on your course schedule, keep in mind that they are your teacher and you should contact them if you have questions. And a lot of the times, teachers will have slightly different requirements for students. And so if something is different between what you see on Canvas and what I talk about in my video, you need to make sure that you're abiding what, by what your teacher wants, not what I am talking about. And so if I say something is due on Friday and they say it's due on Thursday or Saturday, you ultimately are responsible for what your teacher is asking you to do. And so when in doubt, whatever Canvas says is the correct measure, and whatever I say in my video is just me kind of being off the cuff talking specifically about my classes. So let's move on. Let's talk about the class and getting started. So the, the point of these videos is to make sure that everybody taking this class, whether you're taking this class on campus as a traditional on-campus lecture lab class where you go to class, you have a lecture, and you have lab time on campus to work on your projects, or you take this as a 100% online class where you never have to come to campus and you do everything at home. Or if you take this as what we call a flipped classroom hybrid, which is some combination of the two, you come to campus probably one day a week and you have lecture or lab time depending on how your teacher structures the class. And then you go home and do more reading or more assignments at home. Um, whatever method you're taking this class, and it's my goal in these videos to make sure that everybody is fully aware of what's expected of them in this course and how to navigate Canvas for the class. There are four tabs on the left-hand side of your screen, the Home, Announcements, Syllabus, and Grades tab. I would like you to take a minute and click through them, and when you're done, play the next video, and I'll talk about specific things to highlight on those four tabs.